all right welcome back to another day so today is wednesday yesterday i had a bit of a hectic day because of load times and a uh, fridge motor that didn't want to do its job i was meant to go up to um, sydney with a b double load but after all was said and done um, I'm in Melbourne by the way after all was said and done I wasn't gonna make it to Sydney so I ended up doing a changeover and now I'm back in Melbourne and now I'm going up to Corowa uh, to, to pick up a load up there and then shoot that through to Sydney let's roll the intro sorry for the rush start because I am in a rush I, oh, I'm behind on editing um, today's vlog which is Wednesday's vlog that always confuses me but the vlog before this one anyway I'm behind on editing. I've got a million things going through my head because I'm doing a radio interview tonight. I'm on 2 Hey FM. Um, it's on iHeartRadio or was on iHeartRadio. I'm not sure if you guys can go back and listen to it. But um, with a guy named Mark, he's one of our subs, but he's the radio DJ out there in Hay, H-A-Y. It's in uh, rural New South Wales. It's inland. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a chat. Uh, I might actually I might actually put the camera out while I'm talking to him and um, just get some footage of it and put it in this vlog But that's not till later on. Where I'm heading today is uh, Korowa. We go out there and load up in one of the big abattoirs out there I, I enjoy this run because I go out there load up get to see some new scenery. I'll put a screenshot here It's in behind with Donga and how long and all that. I got to fuel up Gotta go make sure my trailer's ready make sure that I've got everything all the gear that I need and then on the road I guess I'm only taking a single up there, that's why I enjoy this run, it's a fast run. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon.
So I'm just going out to Corowa. Some bloody good scenery coming out this way. I do enjoy this drive during the day. Um, it's a beautiful place out here, and the and the abbey that I'm at is is huge. That they're on their they basically own half the bloody country. But um, so I'm gonna sit here, wait for the boys to load me. Doesn't they don't usually take too long once they get into the swing of things. In about two and a half hours, I'm gonna jump on a phone call with Mark from Two Hay FM out in Hay in rural New South Wales, and we're gonna do an interview. I'm gonna try and record that and put it somewhat a part of this vlog or um as a separate as its own separate bit of content but i'll see what happens because i'm i'm still trying to figure out how to do that so i'll talk to you guys soon all right so i just finished loading had a had a bit of a live session with you guys uh it's dark so there's no point in trying to film pre-trips i've got to go into the wadonga depot uh, make sure all my weights are correct and put enough fuel in to get to sydney um, because i am heavy that is a heavy load, so I've got to make sure that I don't overfuel the truck and then whatever, then I'm overweight, blah blah blah. Which never have, which doesn't usually happen. I've got I've got Mark from Two Hay FM calling in a bit. So I'll I'll have to, I'll have to pull over um, at some point and and talk to him. I'll get a bit of it in the vlog, but my wife Claire but Claire, my wife, is going to record it from home and then I'll upload it later in the week or I will upload it tomorrow or something like that. Let's go trucking I reckon. So um, I'm at the Barnawapa BP near the Logic Centre. Um, <laughs> I was nervous as anything leading up to the radio interview that I've done with Mark. Uh, thanks for having me on by the way Mark. Um, so I forgot to put my GoPro on the window and record it. It was only like a five minute conversation. It felt like bloody two hours because my nerves were going a million miles an hour. But um, yeah, I'm gonna insert it here. And it's, it's only a short clip, so, babe, you do have it, eh? I better make sure before I tell the vlog. My wife, my wife said she recorded, and I thought, yeah, whatever. I thought I better make sure before I start, before I put this out, but anyway, I'm gonna insert it here. Have fun listening to it. Yeah, for the last 12 years, um, I'm a, Father and a husband. I'm a line haul driver for Don Watson Transport, um, based in Brisbane. And I also, I'm also a content creator. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, it's Cross Family Trucking. Uh, we're also we're on Facebook and TikTok as well. And I've watched um, a whole a whole heap of your videos. You're up to blog yep. twelve at the moment. Yep. Yep. Um. What's I know this in blog eleven you went you were with some other drivers and you went on a little bit of a convoy. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was awesome. Um, it's not often that it's not often that as line wall drivers that we get to get three or four of us um, going down the highway at the same time. Um, but that just happened by chance. I, I, I went into the yard a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday, ready to load up and head to Sydney and then um, there happened to be three other doubles leaving at the same time so we decided to run together so no it was a good it was a good um, it was actually the first time that I've had a, been in a convoy like that so it was good yeah and it, it was just excellent to watch it too like yeah. yeah yeah it does make for some good content that's for sure yeah and um, you you also do like Food reviews. I love your food reviews. Um, <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, because I get to eat. I get to eat burgers and then YouTube pays for them. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there was, I know that you love your breakfast wraps from Aratula. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's my favourite. And because you always stop there. <laughs> yeah, I always stop there every time I go. Um, out to Inverell and back to Brisbane, I always stop at Aratula for some Turkish sandwiches. <laughs> I can't help myself, I really can't. <laughs> and um, what's what's the best part about putting it all together? Uh, you mean putting together, like, uh, YouTube content? Yeah. Uh, it's mainly, because I'm, I'm obviously doing it, um, and I've, I've been pretty clear with the community about it, um, about why I'm doing it. We're doing it to work towards getting our own prime mover. Me, like us, as in me and my wife, um, and just doing it for my family, mate. That's it. I mean, it's 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 awesome to see people like yourself that react to 
react well to the content. It makes it all worthwhile. Um, and building a community, too. I, I message um, quite a few of our people on a daily basis now, just to chat. And, uh, yeah, everyone sends photos of their trucks and things like that, so it's awesome. Yeah, I love, like, I'm always down the roadhouse taking pictures of trucks and <laughs> I can't yeah, help yeah. myself. Yeah. And what's your what's your favourite thing on the road? On the road, mate, it's just, well, it's got to be just being on the road, to be honest with you. Um, it is a, because at the end of the day, we're, we, we all get paid to travel. Yeah, we don't get to stop and see the sights all that often, but um, it's being out on the road and being alone. Whether it's during the day or at night, it doesn't matter. It's, it's still the same feeling, you know. And how long does it take you to actually make your um, your content? So oh, each video, so the vlogs, um, each video it needs about five or six hours of editing each before it's ready to upload. Um, that might be just because I'm a bit picky with what I put out there. Um, yeah, it's about five or six hours. And, um, yep, yeah, due for another one today, or? Yeah, I was meant to put out vlog 13 um, tonight at 5pm, but uh, the start of the, the start of my week's been a bit flat out, so I'm going to put it out tomorrow um, at 5pm. At That's our usual upload time. So our community will get vlogs two days in a row, so I guess it's not that bad at the end of the day. It, and it's... They're they're really good. Um, they're really good Thanks, videos, man. and yeah. yeah, just love seeing every everything on the road that you you do. And if you want to get yeah. on a um, onto your website, um, how do people do that? Uh, so it's just Cross Family Trucking, C R O double S Family Trucking, um, on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. It's, we're the same across all platforms. Yeah, so just find us there. And jump. we do live chats uh, every Saturday night, so jump in the chat and say hello and join the community. Why not? And, yeah, I just want to say keep up the great work and you're yeah, an inspiration to every um, truckie out there and, yeah, love it. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Thanks for your support, eh? Thanks for having me on. No, that's all right. And you, you have a safe journey and safe travels. All right. Cheers, mate. Okay. Yeah, Bye. Bye. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Of course, I'm speaking from the past into the future. Um, so my next stop, I'm, I'm at the Barnard BP again. I'm, at the, I'm still at the Barn Arthur BP. Uh, so my next stop will be the Wodonga Depot, which is 10 minutes from here, if that. Uh, I'm going to stop in there, get fuel, jump on the scales, make sure I'm alright, and then launch it to Sydney. I'll put the camera on the windshield, um, just in case there's a bit of a light show in the truck parking out the back. There might not be, there might be, I'm not sure. Alright, see you guys soon.
I'm at our Wodonga depot. Um, I've been here 15 minutes. Truck's filled up, I've been on the scales. Anyway, seeing as I'm in Wodonga, um, probably with, with the weight of this trailer, I'm probably six hours away from Sydney. So it's quarter past nine now. I'll get up there by quarter past three and that'll give the locals that'll give the locals plenty of time to deliver the freight. Yeah, still buzzing off that radio interview to be honest with you. Mark, if you see this, mate, thanks thanks for having me on. Um, I appreciate any support I get. Even like even if he had just watched the videos, it would have been enough support. But the bike put me on his bloody radio station and I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I might just talk to you guys while I get to Sydney to be honest with you. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I might just talk talk to you guys when I get to Sydney, or if I or if I stop on the way there. See you guys soon. It's the only hoodie that I have. Um, so I got to Sydney at 3 a.m. this morning. Uh, it's now 3 p.m. I'm going home for the weekend. Yes, because I miss my bloody family. Um, it always gets to like Wednesday. So if I, usually, sometimes I'm home Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then a changeover or an infrared run. But on the weeks where I don't get home until Friday morning, because I'm so used to being home on a Wednesday night or Thursday, because I'm so used to being at home on a Thursday night or a Wednesday, I start with my family on Thursdays if I haven't been home. So um, I'm going to load up a I'm going to lo load up a single over at Erskine Park. For those, those for those of us for those of you among us who are truckies, you'll know where I'm going to load. Um, apparently, it's changed ownerships now. I'm not sure because I thought that it was closed, but I don't know. I'm going over there to load. Going up there, I'm going to fly home. I've got a single, so it'll be a fast trip. Uh, but I should be home if I'm out of there by five o'clock. I'll be up home four in the morning. Easy. I might even stop for a sleep. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how the we'll see how the night goes. Could get delayed. All right. It's the joys of being a truckie. I never I never had any complaints about like delays. Like I like I didn't vlog it. But I got delayed Monday night, and so in Melbourne on sorry Tuesday night. Um, I was meant to load a double early in the morning, which I was over there loading early in the morning. But then because of load times and a fridge motor on one of the trailers decided not to, decided it didn't want to turn up for work that day, um, I got delayed. So I ended up doing a Holbrook changeover. Holbrook's about four hours, four and a half hours north of Melbourne. Um, it's in between Tarkata, uh, which was a, which was in vlog five or something like that, and uh, Wodonga, and Aubrey, sorry. So I, wouldn't, I wasn't gonna make the Sydney because of, it, of the amount of time I spent um, the amount of hours I burnt on my book in Melbourne, so I went back to Melbourne, and then last night, you like uh, like I showed in the start of this vlog, I went up to Corowa, grab a grab the trailer load, come back to Sydney, and now I'm going home for the weekend. And I can't wait to get home, because I'm getting, because I'm getting sick of these bloody things. These, 
Erskine Park and for those of you who know where I am you know um, you know what happened to the comp everyone knows what happened to the transport company that used to be in this um, in this DC and probably most of you would know who's who runs it now but being here right this is my first time here since the cha since since all those changes happened here being here like this used to be one of the busiest DCs I've ever seen but being here there's probably five trucks here and like a skeleton crew of staff it's crazy um, but anyway I'm probably gonna be here for a while because there's one loader doing um, basically doing everything and there's a five trucks in front of me so well late late run home I think I'm probably gonna have to stop for a sleep or might even have to get rescued up near Brisbane but I'll see what happens office <laughs> either way my office still has a Cummins in it so I can't complain <laughs> update um, so the land, the load got canned over at, the load got canned over in Erskine Park because um, they were going to take too long and it would have run me out of hours. So I got sent back to the Sydney depot empty. Same trailer, same everything. I'm just grabbing a load out of our depot now and then and then truck it up to Brisbane. Right at six thirty, we now I should be up in Brisbane with a single and it's light too. I uh, should be up in Brisbane five in the morning, I reckon. Oh, 10, What's that? Ten. 10 and a half, no, oh, 5.30 in the morning, just in time for uh, Claire and Hugh to come pick me up. So I'm going to put the camera back on the windscreen and get up it.
quick stop at the Ampol and Wild, just for a quick pit stop, toilet break, then back on the road. Raining, it's miserable and it's dark. So I don't think I'll film much on the way up to Brisbane, but when I get a chance to, I will. And I'll try and get some content for this bloody vlog. To everyone that's sending in, so vlog 13 went live three hours ago, I think. You guys have already sent in tons of photos. Um, when you guys see this, next, whenever you're th anyone's thinking about sending in photos um, of your trucks, so I can post them on Facebook, give me some specs as well. Um, just so it'll make the post on Facebook more interesting, but you guys have got really nice trucks. Come on. 
in Yalgan, in Yalgan um, rest area, near Sleepy, uh, near Brunswick Heads kind of thing. It's a nice quiet rest area, so <laughs> it's a really quiet rest area, like hidden off the highway. So I always feel bad coming in here with a fridge motor because it echoes. It's like in a little gully, and the fridge motor just echoes while it's screaming away. But I've only stopped there for 15 minutes, so I wouldn't have woken anybody up. About, oh, I'm about an hour and a half away from Brisbane, so yeah, I'm gonna keep trucking up there. Probably have a shower when I get there. Things, um, and then jump in the bunk and go to sleep till the missus and the kid pick me up. So I'll see you guys there. Back in sunny Brisbane, the sun's about to come up here. Um, I can already feel it getting warm because I've been down in cold, bloody Victoria and New South Wales. I'm gonna put my head down um, till Claire and Huey get here, and she'll bang on my door when she gets here and wake me up. All my gear is at the passenger side, ready to go. Yeah, the locals use my truck. <laughs> the locals use my truck um, when I get back to Brisbane because they, because um, sometimes they're short of gear. Um, but to solve that problem while while I'm asleep, and they, they don't really start till nine o'clock anyway, is um, I'll just close my curtains <laughs> so they know I'm asleep in here and they won't and they won't touch the truck. I got back to the yard this morning at about uh, four thirty. I'm at home now. Somebody got a new bubble machine, so this is what we'll be doing all weekend. Uh, I had a uh, three hour nap, and then Claire and Huey just come and got me from the yard. And now we're at home, and I'm cooking. I am cooking, you know, just the white breakfast. And then also, something that is this. Second TV here is broken, but we just keep buying cheap TVs. Um, like 50 that was only a 50 dollar tv and our one before that was cheap as well we just keep buying um new t um cheap tvs because if he goes if he's going to keep breaking them then at least we're not spending any real money on them we're going to get one of those now tv's in the back TV. here he's going to be happy um, um now i've got to go to <laughs> claire's trying to be a part of the vlog <laughs> even though she doesn't want to be on camera she's trying to be a part of the vlog <laughs> um, so now I've got to go to Kmart I need another strip light for the live stream and I need uh, I'm, I'm getting a, like a ring light as well to make the lighting better for the live streams and my, like my goal with the live stream is just to keep improving it week on week um, and I know it's weird that I'm like vlogging my home life but I'm trying to fill the end of this vlog up with some content <laughs> so yeah let's go to Kmart eh we got another light strip and got a ring light as well um just for better lighting my goal my goal with the live stream now is to try and improve it week on week but um not to be like a big live streaming boy but um just to just to give it more value um while you guys are watching it huey here just smashing the rest of my smoothie son say hello say hello waving I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna put an end to this vlog. Um, I'm gonna stop dragging it out because that's all I'm doing by adding all this in at the end. Um, 
as usual, thank you guys for your support. Um, Vlog 13 done really well. So I appreciate you, I appreciate you guys going over and watching that. Um, the Facebook page has got a, a bit more. There's a, there's a few more people on the Facebook page now, which is good. Um, heaps of you guys sent in photos, um, which I'll, I'll start posting them next week and choose a track of the week and stuff like that. Um, but until then, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Uh, I'm actually going to go live tonight, which is Friday night and Saturday night, because I can't help myself. I love live streaming, so I love chatting to you guys. Say bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon.